Alright, hey YouTube, got a new product in. This one is from iWire. And uh, yes, yeah, their X Series wideband controller, which will allow a tuner to see what's going on on the access port when you're doing like data logs and stuff. Uh, super handy. Should connect uh, around this uh, O2 sensor up here and then uh, pretty much be a plug and play solution. Uh, for you to be able to monitor your air fuel ratios on the uh, access port. And so, opening the box here, let's see what we have. All right, so right off the bat, this looks to be like the module. Let's see there, AMX series. All right, nice covering over the wires. Connector. All right. You can feel it's well made. There's some more protective covering on the uh, harness here. All right. Seals remove. Return is void. Okay. And then this seems to be like an O2 type connector here on this side. There's a, you know wires to it. It's a little grounding cable. Set this aside. All right, let's see what else we have here. All right, so here's the O2 sensor that'll kind of be the wideband readout. All right, and there's the uh, connector that connects to that portion of the uh, harness. All right, pretty sweet. an O2 bung if you uh, need to weld one on to your stuff but most aftermarket downpipes already have one there uh, so you should be good in most cases looks to be like some zip ties and uh, yeah some stuff to pretty much secure the uh, harness along the uh, firewall I've got my uh, AEM X series gauge kind of already uh, zip tied along the uh, firewall and then it runs into my uh, my cabin and then uh, here's a rear O2 plug cap, and this will pretty much uh, prevent water from corroding that connector once you uh, uh, implement the uh, plug and play harness that iWire makes All right, for your wideband. All right, and here's a nice little decal that iWire included. Thanks for that, always appreciated. And then most importantly, right, Freaking directions, instruction manual. All right, so that's good to see. Thanks, iWire, for including this stuff. I mean, there's plenty of videos on YouTube too on how to connect all this stuff, but yeah, that's a pretty neat kit. I'm excited to run this uh, virtually plug and play and uh, eliminate the hassle of like the Visconti harness, which I kind of have here. It's not even remotely close to being as good as what iWire includes. I think it's that one. I don't even know where I put it actually. Let's see. No, it's not it. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Looks like someone grabbed it, but uh, yeah, the Visconti harness kind of just has like a an O2 connector and some cables that you have to like splice in. Uh, but this is all literally plug and play, so it's super nice. Uh, definitely recommend it for anyone doing like remote tuning especially this will help the tuner see what's going on with your air fuel ratio during uh, pulls and uh, yeah sweet man this thing's awesome all right and there it is I wires uh, inline wideband controller there it is and then uh, let's see is the part number for those that are interested. Yeah, give it a look. Highly recommend iWire. These guys are awesome. Uh, they're pretty much pros when it comes to like Subaru wiring. So yeah, that's it. Um, maybe I'll do an install video at a later uh, time. But uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, uh, subscribe. If you got any questions, hey, go ahead and post up uh, down below. And I'll try my best to, to kind of uh, answer them if I can. Thanks for watching.